Okay, well, Damien, let's just confirm this team. It's not quite what we, we thought was leaked to the media or that whole kind of Ferrari during the week, but that one change. One change, and it's Loftus Cheek coming in for Deli Ali. Deli Ali's injured, but I think Loftus Cheek would have come in anyway. He had a great 10 minutes the other night. Uh, Pickford in goal, possibly maybe disappointed uh, with not saving the penalty the other night. Back three are from Yorkshire. Uh, Maguire, real threat from set pieces. Stones, you'll get lots of the ball and look to get them starters. And Walker will obviously be disappointed with giving away the penalty. Uh, Henderson had a good game. Trippy on the right, uh, he was the best player for me, and Young obviously keeps his place out in the left. Uh, Lingard had three, four, five really good chance because he easily had a hat-trick the other night and up top you have Sterling and Kane. Uh, Sterling was the, the one real disappointment for me um, he's done well to keep his, uh, his spot. There was rumours that Rashford was going to come in and obviously Kane up top uh, today, listen, he'll be playing against a block but he'll be looking to add to his 15 international goals already so it was a, a good start uh, the other night uh, ease the pressure I think so they can go out and play with a bit more freedom today all right, well, you can see Gareth Southgate checking out the pitch. The surface got a very warm there, 30 degrees at the moment. Eamon, here is the Panama team. Yeah, it's a, a very experienced team, same team that played the other day. Five of them play in the MLS in the United States, uh, and five of them are 30 or over. Uh, the striker, Perez, is 37, and he plays alone up front. Uh, the goalkeeper is 36, he plays in the MLS, uh, and Torres, 32, uh, and uh, Gomez in midfield is 34. Uh, they are very experienced, clearly, but uh, they shouldn't be able to cope with uh, England at all. Uh, there isn't a player there that you could pick out and say, they shouldn't really score today. Probably their best player uh, is um, Goodoy. Uh, he's good left foot plays in midfield, he's from the MLS as well, uh, but England are streets ahead of them in terms of ability and uh, the football they're playing every week in the Premier League. Yes, Switzerland beat them 6-0 not so long ago and they drew 0-0 with Northern Ireland in uh, an end of season friendly. But uh, Keith, when you look at them, one thing we do know about them is they're going to be extremely physical, that mm -hmm. Roberto Duran spirit and all that, they're not going to go boxing, but you know, they, they, they are, they, they're here to fight, they said. Yeah, but they're, they're going to play with a lot of passion. They're very organised in terms of the way they set up in their own half. They will frustrate England. It's going to, the onus will be on England to break it down. The speed of the ball, the type of movement that they're going to be unselfish runs to disrupt that back line. The border, borderline dirty in the way they, they go about their tactics, the way the manager has gone about things. And I think they have to. They're a bang average side. They crept over the line in terms of getting there in qualification and they're fortunate to be in the World Cup but this is the key game. They have to get something from today's game. I don't think they have a chance. Okay, all right.